Santa Claus faces a difficult problem every single year on Christmas Eve. He needs to deliver his presents to all the children as quickly as he possibly can. Santa has to deliver to billions of children, but let's simplify Santa's problem for a moment and imagine he only has three children to deliver presents to. Let's call these children red, yellow and blue. For the sake of this example, let's say it takes Santa 8 minutes to fly between the North Pole and red, 7 minutes between red and yellow, 11 minutes between yellow and blue, 16 minutes between blue and the North Pole, 9 minutes between yellow and the North Pole, and 13 minutes between red and blue. Let's visualize the problem as a square. Let's use the square to help Santa answer his question. What's the fastest route to visit each child exactly once and return to the North Pole? You might think that Santa would choose to first go to the child closest to the North Pole and then always choose the child closest to his current location that he hasn't already delivered presents to. In this case, we would go to red, then yellow, then blue and back to the North Pole. This method of finding a solution is called the greedy algorithm. And in fact, it doesn't usually find the shortest route. We can see this by considering another possible route. First to red, then to blue, then to yellow, and back to the North Pole. This only takes 41 minutes, in contrast to the 42 minutes for the previous route. In this case, there are only three possible unique routes. So to calculate the final one, we go first to blue, then to red, then to yellow, and back to the North Pole. This takes a total of 45 minutes. There are actually three other routes, but these are just the three we've already considered in reverse. So there we go. We found the shortest possible route, which takes only 41 minutes. But we need to remember that there are really billions of children for Santa to visit. The difficulty is there are so many that it would be impossible for a computer to calculate the length of every possible route. This present delivery problem that Santa faces every year is also called the travelling salesman problem. And is in fact part of a whole class of problems called NP-hard. The NP-hard problem is one of the seven millennium problems, and if someone is able to solve it, they will be awarded one million dollars. I suppose we know what Mrs Claus is doing while Santa is making all the toys. As Santa embarks on his voyage yet again, all we can say is, Good, good luck, luck Santa! Santa.